Come on, man. Let's go. Finally, I have the time to react to this. Finally. I've been waiting to react to this for the longest time. Biggest flexes in anime. Yes. Freaking yes, man. Apparently, he made... This is... He made a total of 12 of these, but I've been waiting to react to this. Bro, it's 30 minutes long. I just found it. I just found... I've been waiting... I've been waiting for season videos like that. I just found... Um, my man's, I just started watching, I just started watching this guy, like, not that long ago, I just started, I found, I found him, um, like, maybe, like, two or three days ago, bro, and I love his channel, bro, um, my guy, I like the video, of course, uh, Nox Taku, I've been waiting to react, react to this video, um, um, I've been waiting to react, react to this ever since, like, ever since, I, I wanted to react, like, to, like, the, his other ones, but I never had time, because I never had the time, so, like, so I said, I said, you know, yo, when I have the time, Oh yeah, be, yeah, the Naruto that too. Yeah, that's the thing. So yeah, when I have the time, I'm going to react to biggest flexes. You know, I, he apparently he does these, he does these things on a consistent basis. So I was wait, I was waiting patiently. I was waiting patiently for the next one. Then when I saw it pop up in my subscription feed, I was like, yes, and I have time. So shout out to the boy, um, my man's. So uh, butcher his name. I'm just gonna look at it again because, like I said, I gotta. It takes me a little bit to get used to people's names. So yeah, Nux Taku. I uh, will be leaving a link in the description, bro. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting to react to this, react to this for a long, for for, for a few days. Actually, not a few days is a long time. So I don't know, man. So I, don't, I don't know. So yeah, I'm, I, I, bro, I've watched the other ones, bro. Oh my gosh, bro, they're so he is so beautiful. So yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get with this. We're gonna, we gonna get right with this janks real quick. You feel me? And um, yeah, man, let's see what we got. Flex Nation the Caperone. And uh, yeah, I, I can't. I, I'm wonder, I wonder who's, who, who he's gonna put in. I wonder who who's gonna be putting in this one, this week's episode. So, like, I, don't know. <laughs> I ain't trying to waste any time because this is a long video. So, yeah. What's popping, Flex, Flex Nation? Nation? And welcome back All to right. another episode of the biggest flexes in anime, number eleven. So, Twelve. I know I said okay, I wasn't I was gonna, gonna do the Flex Nation, Nation bit again, but I got so many comments saying bring back Flex Nation. So hashtag Flex Nation, and let's not ever do it again. There, everyone's happy now. I'm happy we're not doing it again. You're happy we did it one more time. Win, win. And speaking of win wins, I wanted to do a theme. Biggest flexes in anime episode. Ooh, a theme. Okay, nice. Novel theme. Characters from light Goblin novel based Slayer. adaptations that flex really hard. I don't hard. know. I thought now, the beginning of Goblin Slayer was actually pretty mind, good, but then like I don't know. I just haven't really liked it. So Rara Rara, the regular oh. Magic High School. Do Rara -ra -ra. And then I was approached by the mobile game Crossing Void, who essentially said, "Hello, Mr. Nuxanor-san." To which I immediately Nux corrected, "Nuxanor-san, hold on, Lord let me ask you my face Lord Nuxanor-sama Lord Nuxanor to you." And of course, they were very cordial and continued calling me Lord Nuxanor-sama from that point on. And they were like, "So, Crossing Void is this very interesting new game because not only." Is it like a good game and whatever? And I was like, uh huh, uh huh. But it hey, contains hey, anime I'm not characters from like a billion tough. different light novels. And I was like, whoa. So the original thought was for me to do a dedicated video on certain light novels that have an appearance in Crossing. So it's a light novel. I was like, wait okay. a second. I wanted to do this anyway. So in the biggest flexes of anime number 11, seven of the eight flexes present will be from characters that have an appearance in Crossing Void. And then the eighth character is going to be from one of the big three because I made a pact with myself that every single episode of The Biggest Flex is an anime will have at least one character from The Big Three. Why did I make this I mean, yeah, I mean, it's only because right. I mean, it's nuts. only so right. From The Big the Three, yeah, they always have flexes, the biggest flexes in Everybody's anime. always flexing, man. Remember to smash when it comes likes, up, like, because 80,000 so. likes and The Biggest Flex is an anime Get this video to 80k likes right now, boy. The fact that I'm flexing on other YouTubers because this is how you make a sponsored video, fam. <clears throat> First anime flex. Yes, I'm going to be starting strong with Sword Art Online. Okay. You know, Sword Art Online had a lot of talk on YouTube. Whether you love it or you hate it or you hate it. Hey, man, Sword Art Online, the way I look at it, Sword Art Online. So, so more online. Sword Art Online, it's a love-hate relationship type of thing. I have a, there's always been a love and hate relationship type of deal because people don't like how soft and... See, seeing how like love romantic it, the anime is, I get it, man. I mean, like it's, but people love also love because like the because the impact fights in the animation. A lot of people don't love the whole lovey dovey sword online uh, has in the anime. I get it, bro. But I but then the, but that's where I stopped. I saw the only two sword online I saw was sword online um, season one and season two. I didn't see all them other sword online's book that day. I only saw the ones with Kirito in it, but I didn't see the other ones. I didn't see all the other ones sword online. I saw. I think I saw. Uh, what was it, Eclorizer? I don't know how to be hyphen. I think I saw that one too. Then after that, I just stopped after that. So, because I was not feeling the rest of the uh, score online. So, yeah, 
I'm just throwing that out there. And everyone had something to say about so I'm curious Online. what kind of fuss he's going to put on here. Because I started my channel after the Sword Art Online hype train ended, so I could not leech off it, unfortunately. So here we go. A brand new take on Kirito, the master flexor from Sword Art Online. Because the master no matter what flexor, you say, whatever category you fall into, Kirito flexes a lot, okay? And I'm not just talking about, you know, hacks, like after he dies, he comes back to life to kill Kaiba. No, that's not flexing, that's hacks, and will be included in my biggest hacks and anime video that may or may not be coming soon to definitely subscribe. What I am talking about is the fact that in Alfheim Online, when there was like this whole massive war that was gonna break out between the Salamander guys versus oh, the Oh, yo, I remember, yo, I remember it, I remember it. I can't really keep track of because let's just say the lore in Alfheim Online was not exactly the strongest world building in all of anime ever. But this massive torrential battle was gonna take place. Yeah, and they, Kato, it, well, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking, is like, I am an ambassador and I will fight you. And then enemy general Eugene, who was by the way voice acted by Lord Twigo says, <laughs> no way in hell, foolish boy. Heck, yeah. I am level 14 trillion, <laughs> and I will face you. And then Kirito annihilates him, which is very cool. That was just to flex on everyone so that they could join him in his mission to save Asuna. And that's not his Yo, he's, but he's so he right, though. He a ton of inadvertent flexing as well. Like in Gun Gale Online, the fact that this guy took a lightsaber to fight snipers and opponents with assault rifles is a huge flex. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that scene, too. I definitely did see that anime as well. Sense that he blocked yeah, assault rifle with a he, he was no, even in Star Wars, if the enemy droids would use assault rifles, the Jedi would be screwed. Let's call a spade a spade. Why are they all single shot pistols? Okay, not talking about epic Star Wars flexes here. We'll stay on topic. Kirito winning a gun tournament with a lightsaber is a massive flex. From yes, it, I mean, like, bro, who remembers that scene, bro? My man's went in there with literally with the whole lightsaber, guns firing from every direction. He was just swinging at, swinging at John like he was nothing. Yo, I will never forget that. What's one of the most bad, like, uh, and I personally one of the most the rest craziest was, yeah, scenes you know, it in anime. Like, one of the most dopey scenes, scenes in anime. Like, just bro, man's had a whole lightsaber, man, and was like just reflecting all bullets, bro. Who does that? Dope. All players that dived into the game, but they all have a crazy illness making them not long for this world. They are extremely good in game because they pretty much escape real life in order to live full time in this virtual reality. It's very sad, I know. And they had a dream that they wanted to single handedly beat a boss so they could get their names immortalized on this stone because they are the opposite of immortal. Yes, the theme is actually relatively dark, and we don't have Kirito a lot because we wanted to focus on Asuna, who successfully did absolutely nothing. Thing for the majority of the series. No yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, I still didn't do nothing. Flex is when the new boss fight is about That's to start, and you have your like six sleeping night guys trying to attack the boss, and this massive raid party of hundreds, potentially even thousands of players are running behind them because they want to beat the boss. The sleeping knights are like, oh well, oh, dream's right ruined. What can we do? We can't face all these way too many guys, and then Kitty. I'll be back. Behind them, cause they want to beat the boss. The sleeping knights are like, "Oh well, dreams ruined. What can we do? We can't face all these way too many guys." And then Kirito stands up for his whammin and says, <laughs> "I will face these fourteen trillion dudes." Now, yo, yeah, he, 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 yo, he's stuck to him, bro. He's that dead, bro. You can't, you, got, you can't deny that, man. Listen, as much as I listen, I know Kirito is not a light character, but you cannot, you, you be a fool. You be, you be joking to yourself saying Kirito did not have some of the most cool doping scenes in every single anime history, bro. Some of the scenes that, that, that Kirito has to serve on online is ah, unforgettable, bro. And it, I low key forgot, you know, I forgot about it. So this brings up scenes for online. I'm, I'm so happy my man's not to bring up, to like give my man's Kirito some freaking love, bro. Because nobody, get it, nobody likes him. He's not a likable type character. And then people do like him, but he gets a lot of hate for it. But yo, you cannot say the boy Kirito does not have any dope scenes in his anime, bro. It's freaking insane. I love it. I loved it. I mean, I just. And hold down this army while the sleeping knights could fight the boss. He did it purely because the person he loved seemed like she wanted him to do it. And because of that very basic reason alone, he flexed on the entire top tier player base of Alfheim online, forever sullying his own reputation. And flex on them, he did. If you hold off an army of players that should all be relatively equivalent in strength to you, that's a huge flex. So, ordered online haters, I apologize, but there's a lot of grade in there. And this flex See what I mean? Thank you, no. Thank you. Listen, like I'm sorry, pausing, but I agree with his statements that he's giving. Like he's he he gave with this. Like listen, as much as we hate, like listen, I don't hate Soda Online. I like Soda Online. I, I mean, I'm not. It's not one of my favorite anime, but I enjoyed it. I definitely well, at least the first two seasons of it. I thought it was pretty good. Yes, it was. It was a little lovey dovey, lovey dovey, and all that crazy stuff. But you can't deny. It. Listen, 
it has some great when Soto Online wanted to shine, it definitely did shine in its right in its rightful spots. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when it when it shined, yo, it shined in in impact in, in an impactful way, bro. A lot of people tend to forget that. And the boy Kirito as well, bro. Kirito has some of the dopest scenes, bro. Has some of the best scenes in anime, bro. Like, come on, a lot of people don't bring that up, bro, because people don't like Soto Online. Ugh. I can make a whole rant video on that, bro. Essentially, Biggest Flex is an anime is a series where I could just talk about my favorite scenes unfiltered and no one can question me. What of it? Sorry, had to flex on you there. I just love what I do, fam, and loving what you do makes what you do better. So do what you love. Yes, very inspirational video here talking about Sword Art Online. Oh, glad we're all on the same page. Next, Flex. Sadao Mao, otherwise known as uh, Satan from The Devil is a Part Timer. Devil in the oh, I've seen this anime, Satan, but I didn't finish it. Sadao I did not finish it. I don't remember too much of this anime, so this is kind of like some. I can't really speak too much on this. Yes, I thought it was. I didn't really like this anime too much. It's a it was okay. Isekai. It's a story about Sadao but, um, Mao, who is a devil that later works as rebel. a part timer. So, um, yeah, I thought it was okay. I didn't see too much of this anime, so I can't really speak too much on it, but I'm curious of what the flex is. I was not going to curse. What flex is Gonna be talking to yes, you know, Scheist is gonna be goddamn hilarious when Satan becomes the protagonist and works in a fast food restaurant. And it is. <laughs> That's weird, though. One of the he has these weird like abilities. I kid you not, ever. And this is one of my favorite isekai anime. I kid you not again, ever. Easily top 10. Now, of course, the female protagonist is the hero from the other world that comes to the normal human world to try and capture slash kill Satan, who at this point is just a really right, good Right, he works at a burger shop, but he has these different type of Really somehow I always thought that really was weird when I first saw it. The setup is flawless. The characters are amazing. I can't get over how much I love this anime, and it's sad that no one really talks about it because yeah. I really need a season two, please. So before putting was, this is it that together, good? Like, Yo, he oh, said, uh, Nux said season two. Is it that good? Yo, let me know if it's good, so bro. People who come across this video, let me know if this anime. So if I should pick the anime back up. I'm never thinking about it. I'm definitely really limited on what much anime I can watch because I'm working and stuff like that. I'm really busy, so I can't really watch too much. But like, I try to kind of pick and choose. Right, so I first off, finish. Satan pretty much doesn't have and let me know if this should be one of them. Because his right, power hey, is good, from bro. the dismay hey, man, and Nux the stress is one of the best around him that he can so. then harness to make himself more powerful. Since Already, I just started recently watching this world. And everything is more or less going I think he's already one of the best. He pretty much don't have no yeah, power. So, everyone that attacks him knows that too. So, there's this whole strategy between some priest guys and some rebellious demon dude that they want to, like, take him down and... Yeah, it doesn't really work out so well. They attack him and they cause a little ruckus. I've never and seen that this little one. I've never caused, seen this one. Gives him more than enough power is. to completely annihilate both of them. But when he does, he expresses to them just how petty of a threat they actually are. To him. His opponents like Lucifer. Yeah, I don't okay? see. And yeah, Lucifer I didn't. Yeah, like, like, like I said, man. Attack, and all of a Holy smokes! It looks dope though. Face, bruh, I never the, seen, bruh, I've seen, like I said, I only seen a little bit, bruh, I never seen a scene, bruh, I mean, these are spoilers, side. but I don't really care, I mean, like, I still he think it's kind of cool, he listen, like, I'll just, bruh, the animation looks fire, down, though, and then Satan says, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> just kidding, not to mention, that if I'm late for work after this, it's your <laughs> fault, Lucifer. At <laughs> this point, this, uh... Lucifer's like pissing himself. He is terrified. It's like, what are you talking about? And Satan then carefully and slowly explains to him, what are you going to do if I miss out on employee? Bro, it looks so cool, though. Of this? And of course, other demons in the background are hearing this, and they obviously don't know what's going on. They don't realize he's working in a fast food place, and they're like, he speaks of matters eternally beyond our comprehension. And, and the thing that this guy works at a burger shop. Enough power to basically wipe this snot out of Lucifer with a punch. But instead, Satan gives him, you know, the respect that he should while flexing on his face entirely, saying, Stand ready as a demon general should. And then he slowly takes his time to charge an attack with not one magic circle, which is more than enough to defeat him, but like thousands of them. So that oh, so he was, a, he was showing off. Okay. Atmosphere of Satan was making a little explosion, turning right. Lucifer into a trembling little bitch that then says, I am so sorry i will never disobey you and the beauty is satan's like no problem fam it's not possible for you to even want to disobey me after i flexed on you so hard he flexed on this guy that rebelled against him so hard he had so much faith in him now because he knows there's no way after the massiveness of the flex this guy will ever rebel ever again and he was right i'm sorry uh, but this flex is 
Now, I was yeah, gonna talk that about seems this, like, hey, man, language, he said not like one, I'm going to give you 12 of these. Even though it's not a real not spoiler, because it's he just not how rapping, bro. he what destroys his opponent. It was so damn enjoyable, you have no idea. The whole thing is 12 episodes. I kid you not, <laughs> you are missing out if you haven't seen it. Go watch The Devil will, is a Part-Timer. You will piss in your pants from hilarity. And 13, I saw that. He said 13. 5 and 10 are chills worth. Like, for example, in middle of his flex, in episode 10, he's up against a guy who is so cocky. Expecting to be far stronger than Satan. Episodes? And while Satan is fighting Ooh, him, he takes okay, his time got, got, to like catch the Tundere who's falling it's off 12, the building okay. and right. tell her, oh, by the way, Emmy, random thought, uh, I can see I your, boobs, your though. shirt is accidentally torn in the front, but I'm just gonna continue fighting right now. And he did it like an absolute gentleman. I mean, I'm a big fan of Madara's flex when he flexed on the Kage, telling them, yo, Kage, yo, it's yo, Madara, yo, Madara is the king of flexing, bro. Madara is one of the kings of flexing, dog. And well, let's just say, if I can compare a fight in episode 10 of a show to have equivalent level flexing with Madara who is hyped forever it's done something right because he's up against this guy Sariel and he says to Sariel Sariel as a benevolent overlord as I am I let you choose and Sariel's like choose what will you run away with your tail between your legs or will you pay for this by becoming my punching bag and then with the most bored expression of all time he says to him choose your fate the flex <laughs> was gorgeous it was huge. So now, Mao, you are one of the greatest flexors. I highly recommend The Devil is a Part-Timer. Flex, flex! And it's from Do Ra Ra Ra. The hype is real. Oh, it's not often that I can talk about okay. the absolute mad laddery of Shizuo Heiwajima. Wait, hold on, hold on. My favorite character. Do Ra Ra Ra. The hype oh, okay. is real. Right. It is I'm not often for, that okay. I can what talk about the before. absolute mad so laddery so of I'm Shizuo Heiwajima. Yes, a lot of my favorite in character in this well, series is hands down Izaya Orihara. But when it comes to biggest flexors, we gotta talk about the real flexor here first. Who is that? I think I know so who's talking about. So for those of you who don't know what Do Ra Ra is about, it's about a city called Ikebukuro. This city, pay attention to no, the hold on. I place bring it up. Bring it up. Is the protagonist of Do Ra Ra Ra. Yes, we have several characters that are more main characters than others, but it's all within the context of what's going on in Ikebukuro. The city is the protagonist fact. Now, there's a lot of really weird stuff going on in Ikebukuro. The seeming main character, Mikado Ryugamine, is secretly the leader of this massive gang. There are also several other massive gangs. There's also some supernatural stuff going on, like a sword that can create zombies that obey you, but you don't even notice because they're normal people until you kind of turn on the zombification thing and all of a sudden they're slaves to the own room. Yeah, there was always sword. like some kind of There's twist when you had that sword. Well, I remember that much. That Whenever you, yeah, horse, you can, yeah, you can create that with... thing where you can create zombies with a sword, but it was always some sort of twist with it. It was always, it was always some kind of weird thing going on with it. I don't remember like what, but it was always something weird and odd that I found with that. I don't know. It was, it was interesting to me. Is her horse? It gets weird. The whole and meaning like, behind the sword was actually pretty cool. With her black scythe magic goop thingo. And the beauty of this anime is surface level. When you're first introduced to Ikebukuro, you don't really notice anything weird going on. But as you proceed to learn more about the happenings within Ikebukuro, you realize that it is absolute chaos behind the scenes. I love it. It's a brilliant take on society and how all society on the outside looks normal and happenstance, but underneath everyone's insane. Maybe I'm self-projecting a little bit, but we are going to ignore that. And I still love my interpretation of da da da. Now, why am I meant this. this isn't let me tell you about eight epic anime also fun fact there were flexes in them <laughs> no no i have to explain to you exactly how nutso this city is in order to explain why shizuo hiwajima has the greatest flexes ever out of context yeah true he flexes hard but within the context of a city that has undead demons a mafia several russian kgb operatives strategically placed throughout a mad scientist a zombification sword and an information broker who is by the way the greatest character in the series and one of the greatest of all time that really is the only oh, guy that snap. seems to he know going, everything uh, that's know happening and he still manages he said to get punched in the one face one literally in the final episode one of the greatest of every season sure. I, don't know about greatest, I love but this I, chaos I now they realize a ton of random stuff yeah, is going on and all of it sounds yeah, extremely badass let me tell you about Jesus Hiroshima okay. he's this guy who's abnormally strong yes that is correct you heard me right I did not stutter he is a regular dude he is not mafia he is not KGB he is not part of a gang he is a regular person he is not magic in any way and he's not a super brilliant sociopath that just likes toying with human emotions. He is a regular guy. And he's he not even the main dude. character. So now, this regular guy so that walks around though. in a barkeep uniform, a mostly because 
because someone bought him a barkeep uniform and he worked as a barkeep but then got fired because he accidentally destroyed like everything. So he's like, yeah, why waste money on new clothes? I'll just walk around looking like a barkeep. It's genius. This nonchalant regular guy is the most powerful, most terrifying character in the entire city. I don't he makes know, friends with a bunch of people, hates some other people. Though. But it's in this world of undead, no sword, mind-controlled individuals people, almost taking over a city uh, and they are single-handedly defeated by John Shizuo, you know, you're hold messing on, guys, with right a flexor. I'm sorry, hold on. I want to, uh, message, message. The I'm guy Gucci. throws vending machines, Gucci, he kicks Gucci. fans across the street, and he rips up an entire guardrail to hit people with. He uses highway signs to play golf with cars going 80 miles an hour. He punched someone in the face so hard that as they flew away spinning, all their clothes, Yo, their clothes came off. <laughs> he hits people with lamp posts. Yo, I'm so weapons. happy he brought he that up. Oh, when he my wants to get to the top floor of the building, Yo, he can literally just run off the side of the building. This guy yes, that is one of the most, yes, that is up there. That is one of the biggest the only normal history, guy, bro. but still by far ah. the strongest and most terrifying. There's oh, a lot of man. crazy shiz going on in Ikebukuro, and the one thing they actually warn people is stay away from Shizuo Iwo Jima. One of the most next, feared men in anime. Shiba from The Irregular in Magic High School. Fun fact, Tatsuya Shiba actually is the irregular at the Magic okay, High I've School in question, school. and yes, I can't, I can't that is really not a spoiler. This. this guy's overpowered from moment A. So at first he's like, oh, I don't really be so good at magic. I don't do know how to uh, use it and stuff and like everyone's like wow that guy's English sucks never balls seen okay I added that for flavor no one ever said that now he's not so good at magic without using magic tools so at first they rate him really low and you know he proceeds to flex on everyone for the entire series at first you think yeah he's not so good at magic he can only use tools and then you realize when he uses tools he's like literally the greatest sorcerer in the world and you know I'm serious no word. Said, uh, the world not the world though now you probably think I'm exaggerating I understand that you have an overpowered student but this dude's not going to be like the strongest ever, right? <laughs> wrong. So, in this case, I would personally change the title to The Flexor at Magic High School and not gonna lie, oh, it's an legit, even man. hyper title than The Irregular at Magic High School. It would have definitely sold more copies. In the beginning, we're like, okay, so there are crazy magic tools that everyone has and uses to get by, and Tatsuya of course uses them to their utmost extent. What you didn't know is that not only is Tatsuya really freaking awesome in magic while using magic tools, but he also invents all the magic tools! Yeah, that's right, they could just make him broken because of items they had to also have him make the items that the entire universe uses which makes him broken he's so broken in fact that they don't even call him out on the incest yes his sister loves him of course because oh my gosh in anime just tend to do that occasionally That's and the show's not even made fun at because of the incest because he's so broken yes there's this evil meeting of really powerful evil dudes in some what so he's like brainwashed Tatsuya, or something from like a hundred miles away with a pistol clicks the trigger and every time he clicks the trigger a different member of that council of evil dudes evaporates. That's right. The he uh, disintegrates this weird. entire meeting so of evil dudes from miles away by clicking the trigger of a handgun. That's just an example to show how he's very overpowered and happens to flex a lot. But you know something's really not right when he goes into a basement, takes a sniper rifle, and they're like, what are you going to do with a sniper rifle? And he's like, oh, uh, you know that invasion that's about to attack us? That uh, huge fleet of ships? Yeah, I got this. And the government official guys are like, oh, I don't see why you could be able to do that. And he just flexes on them saying, yeah, let me just uh, click the trigger for one second and he does and he disintegrates the entire fleet of ships that were attacking them yeah oh he, he was not playing he was not lot. playing fact, around i may have even made it sound he said no nah, i'm gonna do it i think i'm I playing i got you I did, but even though he was explaining his overpowered he was not rapping with you i cannot fail to express that the flexes were actually top tier i mean when the guy is clicking the trigger of his handgun inside and no bullets are coming out and everyone's like what are you actually doing and he's like yeah. oh nothing and you see like yeah. an outside view a bunch of enemy jeeps that are about to attack them for just disintegrating. Yeah, he's a flexor. What can I say? He doesn't even yeah, take credit yeah, for this yeah, shit. Yeah, like, that's he's broken. Flexor. He also has clones of himself yeah, that yeah. can regenerate to the health that they were in up to like 24 hours ago, and he can also heal anyone up to 24 hours before as well. So, yes, his brokenness abilities didn't freaking stop ever. So, even though I would say that the power scaling in the series is not the utmost greatest, the flexes are. And now, before continuing, I would like to talk for just a brief moment about my sponsor for this video video Crossing Void. I've mentioned them earlier. Crossing Void is a massive crossover of some of the most popular light novels and most
most of the most popular characters within those light novels. Everyone I've mentioned thus far, and three more that I'm about to mention, is just seven, and there are like 50. It's an anime turn-based RPG mobile game. Oh, this mobile game actually fun, The character cool. gathering is amazing, and it has all the basic high points of what a mobile RPG can offer, except bonus! It really encapsulates the feel of the different anime and different characters. My favorite character to use in this game happens to be Shizuo Heiwajima, because the raw greatness that he exhibits in Durarara is perfectly captured in Crossing Void. The madness of this guy slapping his opponents with street signs is exactly what I want in a mobile game, and more. And with the game implementing anime characters, of course, the community is of one mind as well. Maybe I'm biased because I'm an dead. anime tar, but it's one of my favorite cool. communities I've seen in an it RPG, and in fact, there are even yeah. community awards if you follow them on Facebook and Twitter. It's an RPG where there are meta events that are community-based as opposed to just within the game. Not to mean that there aren't also massive events within the game, but that's an entirely different story. There are events where you have to guess which anime character they're talking about based on the silhouette, with of course in-game rewards. And all in all, if you're an anime fan that's looking for an RPG, I highly suggest Crossing Void. And if you pre-register now by clicking that link in the description, boom! You get a bunch of pre-registration rewards. Thanks, Crossing Void, for sponsoring this video. And back to the video. So the next flex I wanted to talk about, and it was a flexor I wanted to talk about for a while, it's Accelerator from Tuaru Majutsu no Index. So, full disclosure, the reason why I didn't talk about him yet is because even though I've seen... Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, I absolutely wait a minute love the guy one? because he's... A Accelerator from Tuaru Majutsu no Index. Oh, so, full okay. disclosure, the reason why I didn't talk about him yet is because even though I've seen bits and pieces of him and I absolutely love the guy because he's a psycho, not that I relate to him or anything. Oh, he's like in this psychopath maniac. Okay. The whole damn series. I have history. I, I have like, wait, using... with the Index franchise. Long story short, I got together with a friend. Yes, an IRL friend. Those exist too. It's not that anyone else could see him, but I could see him. That's what counts for me. And we got together to watch Index. I was really hyped. He was really hyped. We watched one episode. I liked it. It was around midnight, so we made a pact. We will continue this tomorrow. Then the next day came, I met up with him, and he already finished the entire freaking series. Oh, you think I meant one season? No, he watched two seasons. The bastard. In any case, I yeah, haven't so gotten back seasons, to huh? Index. I'm sorry. Accelerator, with the scenes I have seen, is already a character that I can say I personally love. The fact that this guy is fighting against main character Wamon, and she says, what are you even after? You're already, like, the strongest guy ever. And he's like, I know. I'm not chasing any specific goal. In fact, I do already have power. I am chasing absolute power. And then in the next scene, he completely flicks away main character Wamin's ultimate attack, and then like, oh, uh, oops, was that your ultimate attack? That was pretty stupid. Oh, yeah, know, he's, on, he's just like, yo, totally that's it? But is that all you got? Pause is like, bro, oh yeah, my he God, was stunting, bro. He was, bro, he was flexor, stunting so. on her, man. Yo, he said, that's the best you can do, man? That's all you got? Thank you, Noble. Extremely oh, cool. Bruh. Link to Noble's channel is also in the description. The guy's a beast, and he's really trying to convince me to watch Index. I definitely should. What's cracking, fan base? Can, can I say that? Today, we're going to be talking about one of the best flexors. I'm talking about Accelerator. Is that the last he is pause? the number one esper in the entire Academy City. His ability, Vectors, allows him to change the direction of anything that comes his way. He can even get nuked, and he would be perfectly fine yo that's a flex that's a so flex lost everyone pause. challenging his number one rank of strongest that he wanted to shift to a level six so nobody would even dare think of getting close to him to which he agreed to do an experiment to kill level three ability clones of misaka makoto however the clones only have the power of level threes so that's why he has to kill approximately twenty thousand of these clones. Holy anyway, the smokes, flex bro. today I'm gonna be talking about is the 10,031th Misaka, where she is running away from this godlike character, and he's just casually walking. She eventually brings him to a point after being utterly humiliated, to a point where he steps on a landmine and it explodes underneath him. And she thinks. This finally gets him. This is like, Target has finally been neutral. Oh, no. Of course he does the dramatic stepping out of the dust. Yeah, like, those, yeah, bro, yeah. Grab 
loves her leg. Oh, like, oh, you, oh, you thought that was going to be coming out, coming out like of the uh, desk like that. Drumstick. She's crawling away, still trying to fight back, and he's just like, ah, it looks like I've broken another one. He lifts up an entire train and drops it on top of her. There was hey, no that's a beyond flag. He just decided, you know what? Train her. Like freaking road roller deal would be proud of this boy. All right? But this is what we said today, Dio? So I hope you from JoJo. Other one. He lifts up an entire train and drops it on top of her. There was no need. He just decided, you know what? Train her. Like freaking road roller deal would be proud of this boy. <laughs> all right? But this is where we'll end it today. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little tribute to accelerator flexing. Now back to you, Nux. Next flex. So this is from an anime called Kino's Journey. And well, I can't really spoil it because it's about this character named Kino that journeys around to many different civilizations and societies learning different things along the way. It is one of my favorite slice of life anime. I will just put that out there. But the thing about Kino is she is just a woman with a pistol. And for whatever reason, no matter what she's up against in any of these civilizations, she ends up flexing on them. I don't want to give you specific examples because every single episode in Kino's Journey has a punchline that is definitely far better experienced watching it and you can get the entire vibe from a single episode. Yes, it gets better almost every episode, but you'll get the idea by just watching one. Kino pulls up to New City, tries to learn things about the society, turns out everything is really twisted, Kino flexes on them and leaves. And I just figured I kind of had to include that into the biggest flexes in anime series because, well, he flexes once an episode. Flex, flex! So until this point, in the biggest flexes in anime series, I've talked about characters flexing on one another. Like S. Or flexing on Esterosa. Hey man, Eskino, Eskino is the biggest, well, biggest flexer. Army, like Madara, Madara dropping the two, the two, the two, uh, freaking, um, really flex, the second was a huge flex. Uh, bold, I don't know, the bold or stuff like that on a Nuki. Like Shanks from one Shanks piece pulling up to the floor, uh, to the, uh, the war. We've had people flexing to the war the arc in uh, one their piece. Universe, like Tanya the Evil telling God, yeah, God, Marie thanks Ford for bringing me back to life, but I don't believe you exist. And we've had One Punch Man flexing on the meta narrative of all shown in anime. They're all working so hard to get strong, and he just one punches these insane opponents. We've had flexes on all levels of scale, but none, none flex quite like the one I'm about to mention from Golden Time. Yes, you're thinking to yourself, wait a second, Golden Time? Isn't that a romance anime? Yes, Golden it's a romance time. anime. I've never seen it's this one of my before. favorite romance anime, by the way. And this flex, this beautiful flex, flexes on genders and sexualities themselves. There's this one dude who is being harassed by a woman who loves him. And as much as he tries, he can not get away from this woman trying to hook up with him. So then, Tada Banri, the protagonist whose name echoes for generations, walks up to his friend as his friend is being attacked by this woman who is trying to have his babies, puts his what arm around his friend, and then Tadabanri absolutely breaks the fabric of anime with the awesomeness of this flex. Bye. Bye, <laughs> That is oh, correct. Snap. This absolute mad lad flex on is her a odd concept flex right and her understanding of sexualities as she knew it. In this one moment, she, the stalking Bimbo was completely annihilated from the most flamboyant flexing of all time. You thought it was kinda gay when Alex Louise Armstrong keeps throwing off his clothes every two seconds to give hugs to the Elric yeah. brothers? Well, that's got nothing on Tadaban. Flexing with the power of absolute gayness to chase away this thought. I know, I thought it was pretty beautiful. It touched my soul. You know what I mean? I'm sure you relate. Next flex! Finally, we get to the big three flex, meaning one flex from a character in the big three, because I can't do a flex video without talking about one of the big three. We talking mean. Minato Namikaze, Minato. Okage. Now, I can yeah, recite I all of yeah, the various Minato things he's done Minato throughout the flexes. series. I can talk about how he teleported a tail beast bomb into the distance and then said boom as it exploded miles away. I can talk about how this... Oh, guys.